Hey everybody in the hot seat today we have a brand new meter from Centec. Nine function digital, the CM300. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. As a Canadian, I've heard a lot about Harbor Freight. Yeah, I got friends in the States, so you gotta check it out. And you know, I've been wanting to go for a while and guess what, it's actually pretty close. Being where I am in Canada, it's not that far to cross into New York. And well, of course I wanted to share it with you guys because hey, you're everything, right? Well, unfortunately, it wasn't as simple or straightforward as I thought. Well, guess what I did? Me and the wife the other day, we went to Harbor Freight. Here it is. Harbor Freight in all its glory, red, white, and blue. Oh yeah, God, I'm excited. I got the hairs on the back of my neck standing up. I heard so much about Harbor Freight. Can't wait to go inside. Before you do, let me just so I asked this kind of gentleman, uh, you know, no word of a lie. Hey, can I film, right? Just nothing big. I just want to film quickly some of your meters. Well, I had to follow him to the aisle. This is what happened. Just like 60 seconds. From Canada. We don't have a... Yeah, I just don't know what the rules are. Yeah, no worries. So the store clerk just said he doesn't know what the rules are. Well, as a Canadian, for the first time here, neither do I. Hmm. Weird. I mean, I, I, I did the right thing, right? I said, hey, you know, permission to film. Just want to film your meters. That's it. That's all. Not a big deal, right? Well, apparently it kind of is. So I had to wait and wait. And Harbor Freight is, uh, it's like a, uh, a cult electronic industry. People always talk about it. They get their stuff. Okay, don't laugh. Yeah, I said Harbor Freight's like a cult. Okay, oh, what can I say? That's what I heard. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm taking it to the extreme, but you know what I mean. It's got that cult status for us electronic aficionados, right? <sighs> yeah, he just re wants to record like this selection of electronic stuff. We have here. So at this point, the guy's talking to, I don't know, the store manager, the owner, I don't know, trying to get permission for me to film the dang meters. All right, this goes on basically for at least, I don't know, five to ten minutes. Ah. I'm taking a tour. I'm gonna give myself a tour. And believe it or not, my wife, my patient wife, is still with me in the store somewhere. Ah, there she is. Patiently awaiting for my uh, arrival. Anyway, yeah, so I'm still waiting and I'm waiting. I thought, enough. I'm gonna go back to meters. I'm gonna take a peekaboo and just see what they have. So finally at this point, I get the go ahead, A-okay. Yes, you can film the meters, uh, but don't go into restricted areas and don't do any personal interviews. What the f Anyway, okay. So you can see here we have a interesting selection. They're classic uh, E30 style Harbor Freight meter here. They used to give these away. They used to be coupons for free. Man, I wish I would've got one of those. Uh, yes, yeah, clamps, Centec clamps. A mini clamp at the top left, I've seen that on Amazon as well at some point, but look at that. Oh, look at that CM300. That looks interesting. Hmm, maybe I'm gonna review this one. 1999 US bucks for that. That's about 25 Canadian. Still in the cheapo zone, and a lot more of those Ames uh, meters there at the top. Honestly, I was probably expecting a little bit more in terms of overall multimeter selection. Um, but they do have a lot of <laughs> extension cords. <laughs> anyway, came down to these two bad boys and I thought, you know, what? I have so many 830s. I'm gonna, I'm gonna review this CM300 from Centec. Looks interesting. And yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. One final peruse. And hey, they have this right behind the generators. Maybe I'll grab a generator while I'm there. Not, no. So. Yeah, interesting. I know, getting a little bit of vertigo here as well, but uh, there is our multimeter selection at the Harbor Freight. Permission granted. So here you go, in the plastic bubble box enclosure that you saw earlier, this is what you have. You get your AAA batteries, two of them, you get your test leads, and your pull-out instruction manual. And Centec labeled. And there we go, ACDC 600 volts, CAT3. This is a manual ranging meter. Yeah. Overall, uh, without that boot, that blue boot, of course, that it comes with, uh, 
soft touch buttons here. Pretty decent size wise. Batteries go in the back like that. I'm going to stick them in, in just a minute. Too. And look at that. We have a brass threaded insert for the batteries, which is a good thing. Tilt stand, sort of your typical, you know, it's okay. It's wide. It's broad. It, it's got some fairly decent uh, stability, but it's still going to be hard to one hand it because it's a pretty light meter all around. And here's those test leads, Cat 3, 600 volt. Boy, they look awfully familiar, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they sure do. Pretty long shrouded tips at the bottom. Overall, I think they're gonna perform just fine. And as always, if you take the shrouds off, you lose a cat rating, but uh, you do gain significantly more of that probing uh, tip. So nice. They're not gold, but they're fairly sharp and yeah, they're good looking. Oh, leads. The precision voltage reference 5.00 is what we want. 5.01 is what we get. Have that backlight on as well. Nice looking backlight has a slightly blue hue to it. And uh, overall, eh, not not bad. Look at that setting though. We're sitting at 6,000 millivolts. So basically six volts, but uh, it's just kind of weird that they label it like that. Oh yeah, the backlight goes off after about 15 seconds. Okay, in the diode mode right now, starting out with our red LED, lit with a forward voltage drop over to the green. Lit, but no forward drop. The yellow, yes, it is lit. The white, nothing, and the blue, nothing. Oh my, no problem with regular diodes. So three out of five in terms of illumination, two out of five in terms of a forward voltage drop. Ah, mediocre. Output voltage in diode mode, 2.2 volts. Next up, we're looking at continuity stock default test leads. Make sure we're in continuity, hit that select button. There we go. Three, two, one. It is loud. It is latched. Gets every second try though. Not bad. Let's try the Probe Masters. Probe Masters. Oh yeah. This time it's getting it with every single one. Eighty-one point three decibels, maximum output in continuity, and that is loud. Okay, we're now in resistance mode. I've got the stock default test leads. Let's see if we have any resistance on those leads. Point one of an ohm. Now you see a rel feature on this meter, but this rel is not for resistance; it's for capacitance. If you hit it, nothing happens. So, anyway, point one of an ohm resistance. Keep that in mind. Let's do a quick resistance test here with the 100 ohm precision resistor. Coming in at 99.9, .9, actually 99.8, and uh, hey, that is not bad. Definitely within spec. This does up to 60 mega ohms on the resistance scale. Once again, because it's a manual ranging meter, Chances are it's going to range a lot faster uh, when you're making your measurements, just because you always have to sort of be in that target area with a manual ranging meter. And you're reading AC volts right now, 120.8. Remember, this is not a true RMS, but definitely close enough. And I mean, for household mains, not really needed. Here we are looking at an atypical 9 volt battery. This does have a nifty battery checking mode, which is nice. Nice for a basic meter, I think. So we're in standard DC volts right now, have it set to 60. Um, because that's the next one up for this range. And let's just see what we're getting for a reading with their standard DC mode. So around 9.5 volts is coming in. Now, I'm gonna put it to the actual battery test mode, nine volts. So it's gonna put a load on the battery and it's gonna tell us if this battery is any good. And if you see at the very top, it actually tells you verbally if it's any good and that I like that is cool so yes this battery is good cool I think that's the first time I've actually seen a verbose readout for a battery tester I like it finally we're gonna take a quick look at high current have it set into that high current input and I'm pumping amp. up just under three amps right now and no worries there let's bring it up shall we five amps and at 10 plus amps, we get a high current alarm, which is a good thing. 
Excellente. So high current wise, it's doing the job. Oh, the capacitance mode here, we have that rel feature. So if we have any straight capacitance, give that a little press and it's gonna rel that out. In this case, however, we're all good. And last but not least, we're gonna take a look at capacitance. This has a capacitance maximum of 10,000 microfarad, 10 millifarad. So let's try it out. Let's see, there's a 10 millifarad electrolytic cap. It's been discharged. Here we go. It's thinking. Giving us an OL. So we're slightly over maybe, but it is not liking that uh, slightly over, which Kind of bites. Hmm. Okay, I've got a 2.7 microfarad capacitor. Another electrolytic, let's try this out. And it's thinking, shouldn't be a problem. And there we go. Coming in at 2.8 microfarad. Slightly high, but uh, this actually is the rating for this cap. Not the rating, but that's what it comes in at. Good stuff. All right. So far, interesting meter. Um, I gotta say it's basic, but it has a couple of neat features that are truly unique. So it seems to be, you know, hitting all the marks, but what does it look like on the inside? Let's take a look. Okay, here we are now on the inside of the CM300. Let's start back at those inputs, shall we? And look at that, we have two ceramic fuses. Uh, both for the low current as well as the high current. And not only that, boy, oh boy, do my eyes deceive me, but we have three mobs and a couple of PTCs as well. So in terms of input protection here, not too shabby. I wasn't actually expecting to see that. Have some good creepage distance over here as well between the current shunt and the fuse and the inputs. So we're not all in there, all uh, tight and, you know, squash like we have a little bit of room uh, for maneuver, which is nice, especially in a cheapo multimeter. Uh, split variety at that current it. shunt. Nice job. There is the 600 milliamp fuse. Once again, ceramic. Oh, nice. More in protection over here with those diode clamps going on. And moving up the board, what else do we see? And once again, just love looking at the input protection. Two PTCs, three MOVs. Man, for a cheapo, that is definitely impressive. And at the top of the meter itself, the main CPU is cobbed, and there is our NCV detection over here. By the way, uh, I didn't show it. It wasn't bad. It wasn't perfect, but uh, I mean, it's embedded into the meter, so it's never going to be 100%, but you know, it's mediocre. All in all, nice and clean PCB, no residue, nothing funky going on here, uh, no weird shorts what have you so good clean soldering and hey i like it all right gonna put it back together come back with my closing thoughts closing thoughts of the harbor freight uh i mean centec cm 300 manual ranging multimeter yeah you know what for 20 bucks us it's a good buy now, I can't say this is the end-all be-all of multimeters. No, no, no. It's a simple, basic multimeter. But you know what? Basic is not a bad thing. Hits all the parts that you need hit. Um, it does good job at resistance. It does a decent job at AC-DC voltage. It's accurate. And it's even got that nifty little battery mode, which actually tells you verbosely whether or not your battery is any good. Cool. Anything I don't like about it? Well, I mean, it's manual ranging. So for a new user, it might be a little bit more on the problematic side, but hey, maybe not. That being said, it's still a decent buy. The backlight, well, it's kind of useless. Shuts off after a few seconds. Why even bother? And it would be nice to have that rel mode, not in the capacitance, but on the resistance mode itself. Still, end of the day, decent deal. And you know what? There are a lot worse for a lot more money. The Centex CM300 gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Hey, I haven't seen this one offered anywhere, not on Amazon, what have you, only in store at Harbor, Harbor Freight, but uh, who knows? Did I say Harbor Freight? It's not like I'm from Cape Cod. Anyway, that's what happens when you go to the States, right? Hey, by the way, guess what? We've got a winner. We have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes, congratulations. Check out the video, it's a quick one, and you, my dear friend, are gonna get this multimeter shipped to you ASAP.
check out the winner. By the way, it's for the Oan giveaway that we had last month. And big thanks to everybody who entered to win the Oan contest. Congrats to all of you. Hey, you're all winners of my books. And there we are, the winner, Barry Bogart. Barry Bogart, 5436. Congratulations. You won a brand new OW18E. I'll be getting in touch with you to send it out your way ASAP. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Till the next one. Keep on testing.